Hey YouTube, Alex here with Alex's Agamids, and in today's video I'm sort of going on a old school topic which I feel would be a good refresher for a lot of us, and that would be three of my own personal tips for those of you that are looking to purchase a corn snake. Right here is Chili, he is my Sun Glow Albino 100% Het Motley corn snake, and uh, yeah I figured I'd get him out, you guys haven't seen him in a while, and he is a gorgeous gorgeous orange snake, but enough of Chili. Let's start getting into point number one of my three things you should do before you buy a corn snake. Before you buy your first corn snake is to have your enclosure set up before you purchase. Those of you guys that are longtime viewers of the channel, this is my three foot by two foot by two foot PVC enclosure from Cages. And this houses my adult male corn snake hash. Now, caging. Caging for an adult is super simple. Hides, water bowl, more foliage cover, in the case of heating, I am using a ceramic heat emitting lamp controlled by a Herbstat 2 red line. What this does is it pretty much ensures that Hash has everything he needs. Some of you guys that are watching this may be wondering, why does this matter? This takes a while to set up. Everybody has different environmental parameters in their house. For example, this entire wall is my reptiles this room that I keep them in stays warmer. Therefore, I actually have my thermostats only set to around 80 degrees because if I were to take, say, this temperature gun, the top of his basket is actually a nice basking spot of 87, and that's just from the UV lamp. So this works for me. Just because this setup works for me and my corn snake, does not mean it will work for you. So before you buy a corn snake, make sure you have your enclosure all set up, make sure your temperatures are on point, you have a warm end, a cool end, clean water, proper bedding for my corn snakes, all of them I use the Repti Chip Premium Coconut Substrate. You have a lot of options. Some people will use Aspen, some people use plain old newspaper. You have to find out what works for you to achieve the environmental parameters needed to support a corn snake. The last thing you want to do is make the mistake of purchasing a corn snake and purchasing the enclosure setup at the same time only to have a light go out or a thermostat fail. That would not be good if your thermostat failed on you the day that you brought your snake home. Plan in advance by the cage, by all the materials within two weeks to even a month in advance and just let the enclosure run. Make sure your UV lights are working. Make sure your ceramic peat bulb or your basking lamp is working. Make sure your thermostat is working and make sure there are no issues. That way when you bring your snake home, he is good to go. For tip number two, this goes between the time that you're going to purchase your snake and after you purchase your snake. And that tip is to ask the breeder or the pet store or the reptile rescue, wherever you're getting your corn snake, ask them the big questions. Asking those big questions will determine whether or not the rescue or the pet store is actually knowledgeable. This is why most people generally suggest buying from a breeder because an experienced breeder is going to be able to tell you all of the crucial information regarding your corn snake. Birth date, sex, what it's eating, what morph it is if you're looking to breed, all of the big questions that go in ensuring that your snake that you purchase will be happy and healthy. You can see Chili here. I have raised him since he was a baby baby. I'll put a photo in here the day he hatched out. And you can see he, because of how I've kept those records and I have done my best to ensure that he lives the absolute perfect life possible he is a very healthy corn snake and you can see that he's got good muscle tone i keep records on weight you know you can ask your breeder how many times the snake has eaten you have a lot of options as far as what snake you want to purchase in this case you know corn snakes and then what has gone into that snake how many meals it's eaten how much it weighs what is it being housed in a baby snake from a breeder is generally going to be housed in a rack type setup so you might want to start a baby out and say a tub like this because that's what it is used to get it accustomed to your surroundings and then once chili in this case gets a bit bigger he will go into a pvc cage so you want to make sure that you've got the options and you have the background knowledge on the snake you are purchasing with that in mind i'm going to take you guys to my third and final tip 
So my last and final tip, and I'm moving on to my third corn snake here. This is Vegas. He is another wild type male and he's actually around 15 years old. My third and final tip would be feeding. What I mean by feeding is there is a difference between a corn snake that eats and there's a difference between a corn snake that eats with gusto, you know, striking and wrapping around their prey items. Especially if you're a new time snake owner and you're not as well versed in the tricks of the trade. Typically, you're a lot better off if you try and get a corn snake that will eat for you very well. I'm gonna include some B-roll right now, but here you can see a young corn snake. This is at the pet store that I work at, and he definitely eats, but he's, he's sort of hesitant versus this other corn snake, which strikes and immediately grabs that pinky. The snake that strikes and grabs a pinky right away is definitely a snake that I would recommend you look into purchasing over one that is more hesitant. You're simply going to have a better experience with that snake. You're not going to run into as many issues with that snake. And overall, it's going to be a much better pet. If you're an experienced hobbyist, you already know what you're doing. But this is mainly, like I said, a video that I wanted to do for people that were like me when I was 11 years old and trying to find, you know, valuable resources on corn snake care and husbandry. And with that in mind, this has been my three tips that you should do before you buy a corn snake. So I am Alex with Alex's Agamids, finishing off here with Vegas, my beautiful adult male wild type classic corn snake. And I'll see you in the next video. Adios.